Well, sort of today's sh- lesson is boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. We just came home from having an ice cream. We're feeling quite giddy <clears throat> with sugar. Here. Um, this one, green one? This green number I just got. What is it? It's a uh, 1915 or 14, let's see, 15 kale. What did you look at when you said 15? Oh, the, kale, the uh, 14s had a hole in the skeg. <clears throat> That's an easy, uh, what do you call them, tell? Yes. That's an easy tell. It is. Okay. Hole in the skeg for 14, no hole, 15. Right. 13, no skeg, and 12, no skeg. Okay, so this little beauty has been painted green. It's very green. Yeah. It used. To, it was originally sort of green, but not this. <laughs> not, much, not porch green. Yeah, this is. I was gonna. I was thinking that porch rocker green. Yeah. No. Now this. Uh, this isn't a bad motor, but it could be better. And on first looking at it, you say, "Wow, this is really good with motor." In fact. Let me turn that around. Yeah. yeah. It's got. Um, it does look pretty good. It's got a nice uh, spark advance lever that isn't all mm-hmm. beat up. No, yeah, cracked off. They're right? often cracked off or bent up like that. Looks good. Or twisted like that. So that's a nice shape. It's got the original knob on it still, and that's really super. Nice patina on the wood. The whole deal. Yes, and it's got the original gas cap, and the tank is pretty good. I mean, really good actually for a kale rowboat motor. It's Nice. Yeah. And it's got the... Uh, Let me get over here. Ah, eek, eek. It's, it's got the uh, proper um, mixing valve with the two knobs on it. Later, they just went to one. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, but then you start to look closer at it um, with a practiced eye. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, oh, one Indeed. with practice time. <laughs> What's this hole in the side? Which, this, this oh, yes. Thing right this, uh, well... It's not quite a hole. What is that? This, where this this is, right here, should be a uh, priming cup. Oh. All right. Which isn't, clearly is not there. Um, I was trying to find one over here. Yeah, here's, here's a beat up one. Anyway, it'd be like that, sort of. Uh, wait, I've lost where I'm putting oh, There I am. Yeah, okay. It would go there. That's what I lost. This, this lever on these early ones wasn't flat like this. It was a different shape. It was round. Yeah. But <clears throat> Is that a big deal if you have don't have a priming cup? Not if you have a lot of them sitting around. Oh. Uh, <laughs> big deal if you don't. Yeah. There's no time warp store to get more. No. No. Uh-uh. Okay. Um, it's also, uh, it's, although both the uh, thumb screws are here, transom screws are here, the pads are both missing on this. Oh. So that's unfortunate, but not unusual. Oh. But the real problem. It's padless. There's other problems yet. Why don't you come around here? Right. Could a person guess what they are? I mean, could a person looking at this on the film have a... Any idea what's missing or what's going on? Well, if they've been attentive to the rest of my website, yes. Oh, cool. Uh, <laughs> so now you can stop it right here <laughs> and figure out what's missing. No, and it's not missing. Not missing. Okay, uh, what's messed up? Yeah, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with this picture? If you have kids, you'll know that sort of a game. What's wrong with this picture? Huh? Oh, oh, what's it? Oh. It's got the, the wrong exhaust on it. Oh. At least I think it's the wrong exhaust. <clears throat> in 1950, I've never seen a kale rowboat motor battery ignition model that didn't have a hot exhaust. This is a water-cooled exhaust. Oh. And, um... Where's the water come from? From here. Oh. Okay. Across and down and gotcha. drooping out. Yeah, out there. Um, and so, uh, it's my guess... Oh. That plus this fitting right here that doesn't isn't quite kosher, and um, so yeah. it's my guess that this is later. Okay. Uh, also, when you 
look at the flywheel. Yes. Let me turn on my hat here. This, by the way, kitties, is a, <laughs> is a must own. Yeah, it was, a, it was a Christmas present. <laughs> it has three lights, and you can do them in combination and separately, and they're really bright. They're LEDs, and I bought mine at Lowe's, or Jack's Santa Claus bought it for him. There. What's, it's, what am I looking at? That crack. Ooh. Oh. So it needs a new flywheel. Oh. Um, Man, that'd be easy to miss if you were feeling... So those are two important eager. things that are wrong with this. Needs a new flywheel, needs a different exhaust manifold. Yeah. Pretty big deal. Yes. Um, and the rudder is broken. Or not broken, but bent. Well, if, you, if you're that old, you have a bent rudder, too. Yeah, well, my rudder ain't bent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but see, when you fold um, it up like this, you can really yeah. see that it's twisted. It's, it's got a... It should come right up and touch okay. this. Right. And it's bent right here. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, that's not a huge deal no. at all. Plus, the hose isn't right either. It's Looks like Napa. It's big, and it should go through this. Oh. So it should come up here and through that and around and into there. Yes. And this is so big in diameter, it wouldn't fit through that hole. Oh, quite true. Quite true. So anyway, so there you go. That's a object lesson about what to look for in these motors. And um, also, this one has uh, the th this is bent rather badly right there. Wow. Yes, it is. The thumb screw is what we're yeah. doing it on it. And on these motors, um, these early kales, uh, the tilting mechanism bracket thing here. Yeah is a, a, a style only found on the early ones. They changed it later. And um, these were prone to break. They're thin. I mean, that's a they're, lightweight yeah, fitting. They're quite thin. Casting. They broke right here often. It's kind of interesting, though. It's very lightweight. Do, do, do other things have this ratchet -y? I mean, this nose uh, non-slip no, mating thing? No, the it? later ones are different design entirely. That's fascinating. Well, not fascinating, but it's... Uh, Straightforward answer to not having something slip on you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oops. I think there. I'm just been showing a picture of the door. There. Nice. So anyway, so that's uh, but it's not stuck and uh, and you know, for an early motor it's not bad, really. Alright. Um, people who are into 50s motors aren't accustomed to finding motors that need so much stuff. Or if they do need them, they can just go get them. Oh, so here it's more important. So it's more important when you're buying an old motor that it has what it belong what belongs to it. Because if there's no uh, guarantee at all, you're ever going to find it. Unless it's an Evinrude. Evinrudes are everywhere, and you can find parts easily. By parts motors as well. Yeah. <coughs> um, Oh, and uh, on the early rowboat motors, on all rowboat motors, on all rowboat motors, kill rowboat motors, on all kill rowboat motors, yes. This cheek right here, where my finger is, yeah, is where the serial number is found. Okay, where is it? It's not on that one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, where? Oh, it is. It's been all painted in with the uh, porch green, but I can see a bit of a two, three, four, six, six. I'm thinking. So eight, the eight, two, the six. secret to seeing is these numbers is to put an oblique light on it. Yeah, I don't think the film's going to pick it up, to be honest with you, but... Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's it's where there. it's it really is, trust And me. it's hand-stamped, it's not cast. Yeah, it's light, light mm. stamping to begin with. <clears throat> I don't want to repeat, it's not cast in, it's hand-stamped. <clears throat> and so they're often not very uneven uh, and... Uh, Wonky. And very hard to see. This is also not right. This is where you connect your ground when you're hooking this up. This oh. is just should be just a piece of brass, a small little brass button. Okay. Well, that's pretty good, Jack. So that's uh, so that's that about that. That's the lesson for the day. Okay. Well, I'm gonna turn it off then. <laughs>